And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ari Elise, our next viewer submitted donation deck. Also a cool looking unique deck. This is going to be an aggressive deck where we have two two mana champions um, that kind of pair together, kind of not also, <laughs> you know, um, if you just have the two of them in play, right, like your Ari is going to be like recalling the Spiderling, <laughs> you know, which doesn't really help that much, but whatever, it's fine. Um, really what it, what it's going to be is they can help each other out in different ways. So uh, one card that's really good with Elise is Frenzied Skitter. And so like Ari can keep bouncing the Frenzied Skitter, buffing up your other spiders um, and, you know, making the opponent's unit smaller. And like that's some pretty good synergy there. Um, we're also going to have Doom Beast in here, like where we can drain put Doom Beast back in our hand, drain again, put it back in our hand, drain again, right? You know, like that's gonna be a great card to repeatedly play over and over. And then other cards like Stitchy and Onlooker, that's gonna be a good one, right? Like your Stitchy and Onlooker, like the one round you play it, it's a four one um, fearsome, that's awesome. But then like after that, it's just like this generic two one. So Ari can pick it up after that. Um, and then you can get your four one fearsome back. That could, that could be kind of cool. I'm kind of splitting, you know, we got one, you know, just one a good amount of one drops. You got one Inspiring Mentor, one Oblivious Islander. They can do some different cool stuff. Like Oblivious Islander can make one of those cards cost two mana, or I guess cost one less mana. But like, so like a Skidder could cost two mana, a Doom Beast could cost two mana, but then it's Ephemeral. That's the problem. Um, but, you know, Ari doesn't doesn't care if it's Ephemeral. could just put it right back into your hand. So some pretty cool stuff going on. Um, Stalking Shadows, we can get multiple copies of some of these, right? Like multiple Skitters or Doom Beasts could be really nice. Um, Homecoming, again, can can bounce stuff and slow the opponent down. So, you know, just cool little deck here. You know, something something different. So let's try it out. We're going to play Ari Elise over in Ranked. Karma Ezreal. Haven't played against Karma Ezreal in just a little bit. But lots of good stuff going on with Karma Ezreal. Hmm. I actually send all these back. It's kind of weird sending back the one drop, especially when you have the attack token on round one, but Dancing Droplet just really doesn't do hardly any damage, and it dies so easily. Then I went ahead and just sent it back. Homecoming could be good against Karma, right? Like, they play Karma... Those who that card's gonna be annoying. There's nothing to fear. The dragon binds us. So young. Okay. Hurry. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm really one mana short from leveling up Elise this round. You know, I was trying to think of, like how can we level up Elise? Mm -hmm. It doesn't really seem like we're going to be able to. Yeah, I can't really think of a way to level up Elise. We must all make sacrifices. Nailed it. This keeps them from getting the free target towards leveling up as real. That was really dumb. I don't know why I just put in that one instead of the one they know about. That was that was a really bad decision. I don't know what we were doing right there. Yeah, I don't really know what I was doing right there. They grow up so fast. Man, Station Archivist is great. Man, my opponent's hand has been great. Let me get you that file. Yeah, that card's awesome. So we know they have a ton of spells on top, right? Ooh, they're actually shuffling them up. Okay. Interesting. My training is I'm 
unconventional. Wild hearts should run free. I'll show you how it's done! So I'm gonna put the Elise back in my hand so that the Station Archivist can't, you know, block and kill Elise, like if we target anything else. Alright, so we get 9 damage across, put them down to 6. They do get a Draggling next round. Games are going pretty good. Yeah, I had some fun games there with Jace Gangplank. Oh, I guess I didn't put this back up. My bad. Watch and learn. Um. So they're down to six. Like that eight. That worked out very poorly. really good. Their hand was really good. Should have definitely just passed, like whenever they did, because then they didn't get the dragling. Definitely should have just passed also. Stop bragging if you can back it up. It's gonna be a tough one to finish out. We definitely want to draw like stalking shadows that can get multiple doom beasts, uh, like that kind of stuff. That's really what we could use right now. Or hitting multiple shadow assassins, something like that. But just drawing more release is not going to do it. They're... Really? They're blocking here? Ready yourself. Obstacle, meet gauntlet! Alright, let's go to the next game. Great hand opponent, great hand. Back to the forest. GG's. Darkness control. So another control deck. Could very well end the same way of them just killing all of our stuff. At least they won't have Eye the Dragon that's going to be healing their Nexus a bunch. So that's good. Um, we're definitely keeping Shadow Assassin, and I guess we probably just keep Twin Disciplines, right? Like, it's just such a good quality spell. Okay. I was worried that that was going to be the 3-2 the that was going to grow their darkness, and, and then you know, like I wouldn't have like a good block for it or anything like that.
Some fearsome spiders. Easy does it. Just taking it all. Mark of the Isle. Um, I think I'm just gonna let that happen. Uh, I think I'm just gonna let that happen. Ari. Wild hearts should run free. So obviously they have more of these one damage spells, right? Like they've been really um kind of displaying that they have one damage spells. You can bounce the Vagar. Now. And yeah, we're going to do that. Well, that's too bad. They really did have a lot of one damage spells, though. Holy cow. Alright, so we've recalled three allies now, or three units. I don't know, this is going to be really difficult to win now. Doom Beasts. The forest surrounds us. Doom Beasts are good. You can kind of see like the problem with just playing aggro is some, you know sometimes you play against like these con these control decks are all built to defeat aggro, and that's kind of what it's been. Um, yeah, I just don't have we just don't have removal for Vagar that Homecoming being our thing. Well, that's all right. That's all right. You win some, you lose some. Um, you know, like your Elise aggro has never been like it, it's not like in a wonderful spot right now, but it's all right. And and uh, you know, to kind of put an Ari with it is just kind of doing something new and, and fun, but not necessarily good, right? Like this deck wasn't designed to be um, amazing. It was designed to do something a little different and fun. And so maybe I shouldn't be playing it in ranked. Um, even though I am, you know, maybe I shouldn't be. Both opponents have had wonderful hands, though. This opponent had, what, like five one damage spells? And Vagar on round four. Vagar, of course, being the best card in their deck. Hmm. 
We can maybe finish them off with Doom Beast. You know, like, they are at a ton of life. This is already our fourth Doom Beast. So, yeah, they're at, like, 15. <laughs> you know, we hadn't really done very much damage to them, but... Who knows, with all these Doom Beasts and everything? I guess you never know. I really wish this wasn't focus speed. Yeah, that's what we got right now is Doom Beast Win Con. That's what we're trying for. No. Well, it just resets this thing so it's not ephemeral anymore. Now it's now it's normal. What they're killing this they're killing this Doom Beast right here. I don't know. This this is probably just a mistake. I guess it could go. No, because if I did the plus three over here, it would be only two damage. So yeah, I guess that's probably right to kill that thing instead of dealing two. Stalking Shadows again is our best draw against these control decks who really want it. Let's try to find that third Doom Beast. But Darkness Control just gets so much removal. You have to be really fast. And Ari is not that fast. So. Not a great combination. We are the light. We are the dark. We and of course we want to save our retreat return to uh, put Doom Beast back into our hands. Darkness and light. But it definitely looks like we needed just like a million more <laughs> card draw, right? Like a bunch of glimpse beyond or something also. For these matchups that we've been facing. Are you serious? Can't even cast Doom Beast yet. Anything can be scattered to its elements. Okay, what's what's the deal with all this lifesteal also? Come on. Alright, a couple of poor matchups, a couple of great hands for the opponents. A couple of losses for us. Another control deck. This one at least won't have the Nexus healing that the others had. Attacking with one health units these days. In a pokey stick world. This card's absurd. This card really is absurd. It's kind of unreal how good that card is. You know, like a 2 mana 2-2 two -two is awesome, and then you also get to, um, you know, manifest and get a really good spell. Alright, so we know they have Death Rays. Alright, so we got... Droplet and Ari. What's up, Lady Leximus? Hope you're having a good one. Well, hopefully not another one mana removal spell. I mean, nobody's been in this chat, uh, Demon. Nobody's been in this chat telling me what other people have, I do not allow that at all, if that's what you're asking. Like over here, that doesn't happen. I definitely do not allow anybody to, like if, if we play against a streamer to say what's in their hand, that, no, nah, that, that doesn't happen. Dark beckons. 
Alright, so what's our plan here? Go and try saving it, I guess. I don't know. I don't even know if that's really worth it. Because, like, we know... So, they have... The, like, we know that they have, like, the Death Ray... What's it called? Yeah, Death Ray MK2. We know they have that by that by now. So, like, they could respond with the Death Ray. So, this is basically, like, do we want to play the Retreat to get the Death Ray out of their hands? Which doesn't sound like the worst thing, honestly. Okay. I can go with that. Okay, they did not decide to use it. Okay. So that makes my decision easier of like not using the Oblivious Islander. You know, because like we could Oblivious Islander like one of these onlookers and then make it zero mana, then also play the onlooker, right? Like we could play both. Um, and then try to put the onlooker back in our hand, but I guess that doesn't really make a lot of sense to do that anyway. Alright, so they can kill something, but they can't really block anything, so that's good. Okay, good hit there. Down to seven. And now maybe this is where like, some Doom Beast could kind of help us. Still have that death ray MK2. Oh, there it is. We're at three. Yeah. Yeah, we had no chance of winning last game. Alright, so I'd want to take the Shadow Assassins so we could play, you know, so we could draw cards. But the Arachnoid Hordes, we could play both Arachnoid Horrors right now. So that makes that intriguing. I think we'll just take Shadow Assassins, though. Card draw is pretty good. Alright, down to two. So I don't think they're going to have Nexus Healing. Our previous opponents have been having Nexus Healing. I don't think they're going to have Nexus Healing. As death. So all we got to do is basically just find another Doom Beast, or I guess I could have just like picked up Doom Beast. Right, I probably should have just played Homecoming and, and bounce and put the Shell Folk back in their hand just right then. Alright, so they have a Retreat Return and a Homecoming in their hands. Like, don't they just kind of die to this Doom Beast? I'm playing that card because they can't, you know, first, like, these cost a lot more mana, but then second, they can't respond. Oh, right, they, then they need to they need to hit the Doom Beast and make their own Doom Beast, which they did, of course, so then they can get heal too. That still doesn't help them with the, my, their elusive problem. I'm doing this my way. That'll help. And we know they have a homecoming in hand out of those four. Down to 
that's a nine. I certainly like getting the Doom Beast out of there. Uh, out like out of here so they can't homecoming their own Doom Beast. Okay. So now we're going to try to Stalking Shadows, then Doom Beast. Get that out of my hand this time so they can't prank it. And hopefully that's it. We got a game. How about that? Ran into a opponent that did not have the Nexus healing. They did have a lot of removal, but didn't have the Nexus healing. And we ended up getting there. One and two. Alright, we got some thralls. So we're going to have to be very fast and also very lucky. We're going to have to hope that they don't have a great hand. That's going to be a big part of it. Um, I like this hand, though. Right, if they have a really good hand, we're going to lose. So we kind of have to hope, like, no avalanche and no, like, super fast thrall. Them mulliganing all of them is a good sign. It's a good sign. They're going to lead Inspiring Mentor into Arachnoid Horror. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Elise attacks for three, horror attacks for four. Playing the Elise, you know, you get the spider though, and that can help with Elise's level up. Alright, bye Nasher, have a good day at work. Islander not looking fantastic right now, but still going to play it. So this is a lot of pressure on them, especially if they do not have Ice Shard. This could be pretty cool. Not just Ice Shard. Yeah, of course it is. So that puts them down to 7. And... Yeah. I, don't know, I guess I could plus three, plus zero on like Elise. Put him down to four. Let's try that. I was the first thing you know, like the plus zero, plus three to try to save one of these. But I'm like, wait, no, we can do an actual, an extra point of damage if we do that. Because then, you know, four could be pretty important. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. We put him down to four. We got double Doom Beast. So they're they're one thinking right now whether or not to play. Yeah, three sisters, and unfortunately had it. So man, that was that was quite good for them. They had 
two piece of interaction they needed. That was kind of perfect, right? Like, <laughs> if they just don't have like one of those three cards, we're good. But Ice Shard, Flash Freeze, Bladder Ravine. Kind of needed all of it. I mean, I guess I, I could just pass. Yeah. The only the only thing to do is either play Ari or pass, right? Like, obviously, I don't want to play the other stuff. Ari's the only thing for us to play. Blitzy! Been a long fan, long time fan on YouTube. Finally got to catch one of the streams. Welcome. Happy to have you here. Hope to get into the game. Cool, cool. Well, yeah, real happy to have you here. If you uh, you know, have any questions or anything, feel free to put them in chat. But also just, you know, got a lot of good, nice people in chat. So feel free to talk to them. And yeah, happy to have you here. So what's that card going to be? What's that card looking like? Avalanche. Avalanche is strong. This world has to offer. Wow. And the curator. Do we get a blocker? Man, there wasn't too much that we lost to with this hand, right? Like, our, it was looking really good a couple of rounds ago, but these have been a, some perfect rounds, so. One of those. One of those videos. <laughs> Beecher said, said Hawkeye also helped get me into this game about a year ago. The game looked very different back then, yeah. <laughs> sure did. That was, you know, pre, I guess... I guess Targon's been out for over a year. I was going to say pre-Targon, but no, it was definitely pre-Sharima and stuff like that. But I guess Targon was out like last fall. Wow, it's been out a little... It's been out for a minute. So Shadow Assassin was a wonderful draw, as you can see. Um, yeah, we'll just go do these. Alright, who are we picking up with Ari? Probably the the Doom Beast. Yeah. Shatter. Oh wow, this doesn't Oh, because it has to attack, strike, and then swamp? Wow. Alright, come on, homecoming. Homecoming! Man, I really need homecoming. I forgot that we... Yeah, because you know, we have three homecomings in this deck. They would have bounced this frozen thrall that, that would activate... Man, homecoming would have won us the, this game. If we had it. Alright, let's look for... Look for Doom Beast with this. Or draw a card with the Shadow Assassin. I think. Look for Doom Beast. Okay. So can we stay alive? Twenty-four overwhelm. Yeah, so we're playing some Ari Shadow Isles, some Ari Elise. Kind of like an Elise aggro. Oh, the tough Nexus. Gross. Um. Catch me if you can. Puts me into two. Oh, 
silent as death. Well, if they have nothing, I can win this game right now. If I just Doom Beast, return Doom Beast, play it again. It looks like they have nothing. They only got one card left. That's a good sign. Oh, wait, I can't... Oh, yeah, I can't win it this round. We'll have to win next round. Yeah, they missed... Yeah, they would have just attacked with Lissandra's lethal... No. We would have just gone down to one, because my 1-1 my one, one would have blocked Lissandra, and so, like... We, yeah, we would have gone down to one instead of two. Oh, that thing deals one to everything? Maybe I need to do that in response to Ice Shard. Maybe I need to just attack, try to bait out Ice Shard, and then do this in response. Try to have them Ice Shard themselves. As you can see, like this is the only spell I can really play first. I, mean, I guess I could have played Retreat first, but... Come on. All right, should have attacked first, because whenever I attack... Yeah, 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 so... That was just a really bad play by me. All right, so whenever I attack, because my elusive is going to be lethal, so they have to play Ice Shard, and then whenever they play Ice Shard, then I put this back in their hand, so then they don't have the tough nexus, so the Ice Shard kills them. So this was all just a very, very bad play by me. All right, well, I messed, I messed that up. It's close game. Could have won. I messed it up. Could have won. I don't know why. This is this is why sometimes streaming plus playing is kind of difficult, right? You know, I'm just you know we're we're talking everything, and then you know I I'm not really thinking about what we're doing, and and yeah, I just make a bad play. So, uh, yeah, we had that game if I would have just simply attacked first. Yeah, so you get the 25 essence from those essence pouches each week for the quest, and so if in 28 weeks, so over half a year, over six months, six and a half months, you will get a champion, a prismatic champion from those essence pouches. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so little. So keep doing the essence pouch things each week, and then in six and a half months, you can get your prismatic champion. That should probably be like a hundred essence, not not twenty five essence. So yeah, my bad. We should definitely be two and two. I I had it right there, um, but you know I made a mistake, and so we're one and three. So you can't always just go by the deck records. Also, you know you always got to kind of see what happens in them because this deck was definitely good enough to be two and two, but I messed it up. And Puna played really well. You poor thing. You know, I think if I don't play the Twin Disciplines, obviously they don't Frostbite. We get extra two points of damage in there, and I think that would have made a big difference. This is our first time actually seeing Frenzied Skitter at all, which is kind of surprising, because, you know, we've played the five games, and we have um, played a bunch of Stalking Shadows. I don't think we've even seen a Frenzied Skitter. We actually might have seen one off of a Stalking Shadows. Attacking out right here because of Lecturing Yordle. 
Could have gone like Skitter first and then Onlooker, but it doesn't really. I wasn't really. I don't know. Electric Yordle, you know, I go Skitter, they go Electric Yordle, it's kind of messy. I'm always up for a round or two. Who says I don't share? That's not good. Taking four, four, five, six. Now you've gone and upset it. That's why you always carry another pair of goggles. All right, so I'm kind of waiting on the Doom Beast. Uh, my plan, you know, with with having six mana, my plan is triple spelling with these three next rounds. Things already leveled up. Wow, Mainflake's already leveled up. That's crazy. They grow up so fast. Didn't know you. Don't know much, do ya? Oh man, is that gonna be Is that gonna be another twisted fate? Please no. I shouldn't have blocked that twisted fate. They go red card here, that's a mess. Alright, 10 fearsome? Question mark? Okay, 10 fearsome. Down to 4. Not bad. And obviously, if they do have Gangplank, we will bounce it with Homecoming. Yeah, Powder Keg Red card is such a great combo. That was, and that was super scary right there. So that's what they were going to do. Six. And see, the thing is, like, I played, you know, like, this thing does two damage right now. So I play Doom Beast, they do two damage to me. No, I don't think the Gangplank nerf hit, the de hit their decks that hard, no. I know what lurks in the shadow. One mana short from Doom Beast plus Homecoming plus Doom Beast. That was uh, good on them for passing. My opponents have had good hands and everything in these games, but they've also been playing very well. We have not like played against any opponents that have been making any mistakes. Deal me in. I'm a people person. All right, that'll do. All right, so we can save this. Make sure it doesn't die. So we don't take the damage. And then our Frenzied Skitter kills him. Perfect. I was hoping they were setting that up with it going down to four. Okay, so two and three really should have been three and two. But I made that one bad mistake. We'll take it. GG's.
Good old sound bug. All right, so a two and three record for Aria Lease, but really should have been a three and two. As we saw, I had Lethal there that that last round against the Thralls, and we're just kind of talking, not really thinking about it, made the mistake. That's my bad. The deck really was a three and two deck. That's why I gotta you know listen to these afterwards instead of just looking at the records. Um, but I have to say that was pretty impressive with it for something that was just kind of originally built as like a, a little meme tier idea. Because even our two losses, they were really good hands against good control decks that are built to beat these kind of decks that also have life stealers and tons of removal, right? Like you don't really expect to kind of win those. And those were our two losses. So the fact that we were able to really beat everything else, you know, including like if, if we're thinking of the, like the deck really beat Thralls, um, I just didn't, but the deck did. Um, pretty impressive showing for uh, this little deck. I think that uh, getting some good early attackers and then Fearsome and Elusive and Doom Beast. It actually worked out fairly well. And then Skid you know, we finally drew Skidder that last game, and the Skidders were pretty awesome. So Alright, so that's gonna be it for Ari Elise. I think that out of the list, I think the Oblivious Islander I wasn't very impressed with, right? You know, like just the the theory is like kind of cool. Making it cost less so you can go wide faster, and then Ari just picks it up anyway. But you really like rely on Ari picking it up and all that kind of actually working out and stuff. I think I would recommend just playing another Inspiring Mentor. I liked how Inspiring Mentor looked, um, turning Ari and Elise into 3 threes. Um, I liked that. But I like the onlookers, like with the Fearsome also. That really helped us win some games. And obviously, Droplet with the Elusive, pretty good too. But I would, I would just get rid of that, get two Inspiring Mentors in here. All right, so anyway, that's going to be it for Ari Elise. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. Hopefully, y'all enjoy these unique decks that uh, we're getting from different viewers. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. And so hopefully, y'all are enjoying them. Let me know in the comment section. if you And if you do try it out yourself, hopefully, y'all enjoy it and let me know over there. Uh, but that's going to be it for Ari Elise. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.